welcome to angreji master dear students today we are going to do laburnum top from class 11 english textbook on will in this video we shall give you the vocab used in the poem line by line explanation summary and poetic devices used you may download the notes from the link given below but before i start let me ask you a question have you ever seen a laburnum tree or a goldfinch in your area in your surroundings if he has what do you call them in your mother tongue or vernacular now let's get started the title laburnum top presents a complementary relationship between goldfinch and the laburnum tree the goldfinch builds its nest on the highest branches of the laburnum tree hence the poem is titled laburnum top the poem is divided into four stanzas of uneven length first three lines are indicative of decay and preparation for new life the second stanza comprises of nine lines depicting how arrival of goldfinch brings thrill and excitement and the third stanza demonstrates how after ensuring the well-being of its family the goldfinch leaves whereas the last stanza of one line shows what happens when soul leaves the body the central message of the poem is that the pattern of our life has several ups and downs and ranges from dull and inanimate to chaotic or even empty it is however a person's attitude which makes life meaningful and gives a purpose to one's existence now let us summarize the poem stanza by stanza the first stanza is The laburnum top is silent quite still in the afternoon yellow september sunlight a few leaves yellowing all its seeds fallen also known as the goldfinch tree its golden flowers are a perfect camouflage for the bright yellow goldfinch autumn lends a yellow color to the leaves too At the beginning of the poem, one September afternoon, the top of the laburnum tree stands silent and still. Here, it may be indicative of death and decay. The poet uses alliteration and personification to emphasize the effect. The leaves are turning yellow in autumn and already fallen. on one hand it is indicative of decay on the other hand the fallen seeds are symbolic of preparation of new life so this represents one life fading into another in the form of the seeds now the second stanza till the goldfinch comes with a twitching chirrup a suddenness a startlement at a branch end then sleek as a lizard and alert and abrupt she enters the thickness and a machine starts up of chitterings and of tremor of wings and trillings the arrival of the goldfinch is quick and quiet like that of a lizard and while it enters it chirrups and twitches those sudden movements it makes some sound and twist its body as if signaling its arrival it quickly enters the thickness and the dense foliage and it seems that the machine that was dormant till then awakens the tree has been compared to a machine the birds family which was quite so far in the absence of goldfinch creates commotion 
stanza 2 continued the whole tree trembles and thrills it is the engine of her family she stokes it full then flirts out to a branch end showing her bald face identity mask the tree seems to have come alive as it seems to tremble and thrill with the movement of the bird and its family the chicks thus are the engine of the family feeding its family the goldfinch stokes the engine once they have been fed the goldfinch moves to the end of a branch peeping out such that only its face is visible in the yellowness of the tree the face has black markings which make it seem like the bird is wearing a mask stanza 3 then with airy delicate whistle chirrup whisperings she launches away towards the infinite the goldfinch then blows a whistle the strange uncanny whistle sound which she emits is like a warning to the predators who wish to harm its children and on that note the aim which gives her purpose and a meaningful existence is fulfilled then she flies away into the vast infinite sky stanza 4 and the lebanum subsides to empty the goldfinch flies away leaving the tree empty and once again silent as it was as if denoting the separation of soul from the body going a bit deeper we find the poet might have used goldfinch as a symbol of the industrial revolution or his wife sylvia the goldfinch is a symbol of industrial revolution which enters rural calm and serene environment and quickly bringing thrill and excitement there however the poet seems to claim that this revolution has hidden its true face behind a mask and when one looks beyond the mask the place is left emptier than ever before he might be referring here to the collapse of faith rural serenity and the pious pure environment some consider laburnum top to have autobiographical connotation as the poet's reflection on his relationship with selvia his wife here the goldfinch is symbolic of selvia who entered his life smooth and abrupt leading to thrill and excitement she eventually revealed her bald face the mask and in her death he was left emptier than ever before spiritually lifeless hope you understood the poem if you liked it please press the like button and subscribe our channel angreji master so that you get our latest videos to get the updates please don't forget hitting the bell icon thank you